All right, welcome back to another whiskey review with me, Harry. Today, as you can see, we're going to be reviewing Glen Farkless. This is one of the the whiskey that I'll be I was looking for, and I couldn't find it for a long time because our local uh, carrier LCBO stopped carrying it for for a while, and all of a sudden they all showed up. And when I see that, I want to grab as many as I can. But they have a, a quite wide range uh, of a selection. They have the, I remember I saw the the 12, the 15, the 17, and the, the 21, the 25, and I saw the 30 and 40. And honestly, there's no way and there's no point to be, uh, for me to buy all of them. So I, first of all, I bought the 21 because it's way very, very good price. Second, I'd say, you know what? Such a great whiskey with such a price. I have to get another bottle. So I get the uh, the 25 and I heard so much good thing about 105. So I bought all three of them. <clears throat> Today, we're not going to review all three of them. Today, we're just going to review the 21. I had two bottles. I borrowed one from a friend uh, because a lot of time uh, opened whiskey actually tastes better than a brand new whiskey. So I'm gonna leave this one unopened. I'm just gonna, you know, taste this one for today. And before I taste it, uh, Glen Farkla, even says Highland uh, single malt Scotch whiskey, it's actually located uh, near the space side more. You know, Highland also covers space side. And it, uh, what we, where uh, Glen Farkla located is very close to outer skirt of the, the space side. So I expect it uh, to be uh, more fleety flavor, and that's what uh, most of the space I uh, whiskey's characteristic are. And also, what's so special about Glen Farkla is that it's still independent family owned. It's owned by the grand family for six generations. And what's so amazing about it is that their core whiskey is actually a lot of you can see a lot of 21, 25, 30. And you don't see a lot of these type of uh, aged whiskey in a lot of uh, distilleries. Most uh, whiskey that you, will may, you may, may be able to find is 8 year old, 10, uh, 12, 15, you know, something like that. But they actually have a lot of 21s, 30s. So it's amazing. And all of their whiskey are uh, mature in only sherry cask. So I expect it to be very, very fruity. And... I hope it's very juicy too. Okay, well, let's try it. Such a beautiful bottle, 21 years. Normally for a 21 year whiskey, you would expect to be about, I'll say about 350 to 399 Canadian dollars, but this one only 260. Let's see how the nose tastes like. Oh yeah. Mmm. It's just sherry. You can you can smell that right away. Very fruity. A bit strong. You can still sense that. Let me see the ABV. ABV 43%. By the way, if you guys know that, if you want to try cast strength, the cast strength 105, but this one is actually 60%. It's a lot stronger. Mm. Oh, it's actually quite spicy at the end. There's some some chili type of feeling spice at the end, but overall it's actually quite smooth. Again, very fruity. I really like it. Let me put a little bit of water to bring out its flavor even more.
You can see the color. It's very amber. Oh my. The magic of water. So fruity. So much fruit in there. Smell some apple, a little vanilla too. Some some citrus. Mmm. Wow, it is so magical. Just three drops of water. And now this Glen Fogla tastes so smooth. So fruity. What is that thing that I tasted? I do taste a little bit apple, citrus. It's a plum. Mmm, lovely. Wow, this is such a great value. For, again, for 21 year old, and with this kind of price, there's no reason why you shouldn't get a bottle. And I, I forgot to mention that for Glen Farquhar, their core range of of uh, of whiskey start from A, 10, 12, and then you have 15, 17 and 21 and then the 25 the 30 the 40 and also they have 60 year old as well can you can you believe that they have lots of 60 as well and they also have a family uh series very cast series actually they have bottles from uh year from 1952 all the way to 1994 and then 95 96 and so on and so forth you don't see a lot of that this theory that carry this many uh, years of different casts of whiskey, so impressive. I fall, I'm, I fell in love with Glen Farkle already. Mm. Ah. Mm. Amazing, guys! Try it; you won't regret. In the future, I'll be reviewing the one of five. The reason why I haven't reviewed it is, they say that for the one of five. I had to keep it open and let it air and every single month come back to it because it will taste better and better i'm going to try it uh I, I think i opened this one for about almost two months i'll see how it goes in the next few months all right cheers guys and make sure you subscribe and like my video and follow my future videos i'll see you on the next one ciao guys